How's it going everyone? My name is McHugh and I'm sure you know this by now, but I love freaking Dungeons and Dragons so much that I am about to finish up a two year campaign where I've been DMing for two freaking years. That's incredible. Not a whole lot of people get to play for two years getting to know their characters. And while it was my first time ever doing anything D&D related, there were some bad times and good times, mostly bad times, because I had to learn everything about the game and be the DM, the person that is essentially God and run and know everything, every single detailed rule. And I'm not a very smart person. So one cool aspect about D&D &D is the cool miniatures that you get to kind of put and represent yourself. Now, these are kind of more of a luxury. I've seen people just use uh, just dice representing like a monster or yourself. But you can make and buy these miniatures to represent you. Now, there are a lot you can just go out and buy and it's just kind of a generic thief or kind of warrior or something like that but there's also websites like hero forge which i am not sponsored by that you can customize your own miniature and you can paint it yourself and it's custom made to your liking so in the other D, &D group that i'm part of the one that i'm not a dm in we decided for the new campaign that we wanted to make all custom minis. Now, Hero Forge makes it out of certain materials and they don't paint the miniatures themselves. They have you paint it or they come into either like just completely made of metal, which you can't really paint. I opted to make mine paintable because I kind of am a craftsy person and I thought, hey, why the heck not? I'll, I'll give, a, give a shot at this. First thing is you need to put on a primer. This will help make your mini be able to be paintable. Hence why it is completely black. Now for most of these shots, I'm just going to fast forward because it's probably not a fun thing to watch literally paint dry. But there's also some shots missing because when I first started painting this mini, I had originally wanted to film myself doing it. But since this was the first time, I really wanted to, you know, figure out how to do it in the first place. So I turned the camera off for the first day to try to get my ball bearings on how exactly do you do this. So there's a good bit of this mini that is already painted in these next shots. It also didn't help that my camera didn't focus all the times and I honestly don't know how to focus the darn thing very well. I should probably look into that. And it also didn't help that I didn't get a good shot in terms of me painting it. Sometimes the bottom of the piece shows what I am actually painting. So you can't see what I'm actually painting. It was a learning experience, but uh, I had a lot of fun with it. When I learned that the white paper towel that I was resting the mini and a bunch of paints was the one that was causing my camera to not focus on, it was already too late and a lot of the painting was already done. Interestingly enough, when I was thinking about painting this, the easy bits that I thought were going to be easy ended up being hard, and the hard parts were actually kind of easy. I thought that painting a tiny, tiny little thing would be really difficult, but apparently my hands are pretty calm and I was able to maintain my uh, my grip on the paintbrush and I didn't uh, scraggle around with uh, my hand as much as I thought. Going into this I thought oh this is gonna be easy I'll just paint this no problem but there are a lot of angles that I was not thinking properly on how hard it would actually be. There are a lot of areas where you just can't really paint that well like the back of the shield like behind it really hard to paint. In fact, for the most part, I didn't paint it because you're not going to see the behind the shield. The pose of the miniature also was kind of difficult to paint around. There were kind of parts around the leg areas that were pretty difficult and around the underarms that were also difficult to paint. Around the sword was also a little bit challenging, so that's just something to consider when you're painting a miniature, I guess. I really like how the shield turned out. That's probably my favorite part. I certainly found a new appreciation to people who actually do this for a living professionally. It is not as easy as I thought, although I think I had a easier time with it because I had done a lot of painting in high school and I kind of know how a brush stroke works and what angles and how much pressure to put on a brush stroke to get it to fold or to lie smoothly in that regard. But regardless, it was super fun to do for the first time and I think I might have to do two or three more of these. So yeah, I hopefully will be able to get better, but I'll shut up and let you guys watch the rest of it.
the eyes are a little bit derpy, but how exactly do you paint a eyeball? You, it, for starters, it's super small, and also, it's a paintbrush, which you don't really exactly have the finest of points. But uh, besides that, I'm pretty happy for how it turned out for the first time. So that's going to be it for this video. Kind of a weird, different, short video, but uh, I thought I'd have a little fun with it. But anyways, let me know what you think on how I did for painting my first mini. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.